Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Amal Nergudkar. I'm the CEO of Patient Prism, and um, I'm here with uh, my good friend Alex Giannini at the uh, DEO Fall Summit 2021 uh, called Doubling Dental. And uh, I've known Alex uh, for a very long time. Um, I've admired him. I've respected him. He was one of the first guys who gave me an opportunity when I started Patient Prism to put Patient Prism in his DSO. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm deeply grateful for that. So Alex Giannini, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate being here. Um, you, you've done a lot in this space. You, you, you've done it all for, for many, many years. And, and the work you're doing with Align today uh, is, is, is so incredible because there's not a lot of people out there in this industry that have been there, have done that, have all the scars and all the successes and everything else, right? There's not many people out there. And no hair left. And no hair left. <laughs> and, and, and who have shed like <laughs> lots of pounds too. <laughs> and um, so tell us the work, uh, why you started Aligned and, 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 and what is it doing and how is it impacting DSOs uh, today? So, you know, I, uh, I built four DSOs uh, from the ground up, and I was uh, lucky to be a part of, of a larger DSO, a large national DSO. And just, you know, what, what we saw, I saw, was taking the guesswork out of how to go build a group in a DSO. You know, my first DSO took 15 years to build. My second one took five years to build. My third one took six months. Nice. And so, knowing how to go do it, you, you can take a lot of the, the, the pain and, and lessen the learning curve right. for entrepreneurial dentists that want to wanna go to the next level. So we formed, we formed the Lion Dental Partners, uh, you know, uh, six, six, year, six years ago with, with, uh, with a mission of, you know, working with entrepreneurial dentists that needed the tools, the technology, and, and the know-how on, on how to pull it together. We've successfully done over three dozen deals in terms of in terms of creating new DSOs and new groups. By you know, we've done GPOs, we've done we've done multiple different types of dentists have find ways to partner up or to grow. And so there's about 21 different types of groups wow. out there. That are part of a line family. No, no. In terms of how they, how they, how they construct, how they come together, right? And how they collaborate and how they work with either private equity or they work with bank debt or their own capital or whether they want to build a legacy company, right? right and they want to keep it in the family or they want to keep it amongst themselves as partners. And so, so you know, it's pretty cool to see, you know, how the different, how how how, how folks want to. Yeah, run right, whatever. So you can do soup the nuts, right? You can you can take a group that let's say it's a struggling group. Um, how can you go help them? So we we do three types of coaching, right? Okay. So um, the the first one is uh, we do strategic uh, strategic consulting, right? okay? And that basically means how is understanding what their vision is or what the desire is or what the goal is, okay? Right, and then figuring out where they are and where they want to go and, sure. the, and the strategy and the plan that goes along with point A to point B. Okay. Sure. So that may mean, you know, bringing on a legal team, a, a finance team, an HR team, IT team, marketing, procurement, rev cycle. So we help, we work with different with different partners all over the country in, in helping them put together what they need to go get it done. Right? And once wow. they figure it out, wow. once they once they learn that, then we help them build the internal team that they need huh. in order to do that themselves. Okay, So that's part of the strategic... That's control. one goal. They like yeah. come in, put the team together, basically put the support organization in place yeah. for the uh, for the dental support organization. Right. And that, that may mean looking for capital. It may mean looking for additional practices or, you know, so we oh, do, wow. a big part of what we do is we help them look for practices so that they, they don't get themselves, we're not, we're not, we're not capital events driven. We're not driving to just to one point. We're driving to that and beyond, right? And doing something that's sustainable and not something that, you know, is duct taped together and not something that, you know, we call Creepy, crawl, uh, you know, creepy corporate dental. All right? That's, that's right. Not, that's not what the game is. It's for. whatever they need. You're going to help them, uh, accounting side, finance side, anything they need to kind of get them in a position 
what they eventually can do it themselves. Correct. And that's the strategic services. That's the strategic. What's the second one? The second one is, is operational consulting, right? Okay. The, the, and so we've got a whole division just for that. And our consultants work with, with the team that may be in place or with, uh, with the owner doctors and then maybe with the regionals or in, in terms of how to operationally and tactically execute. Execute, yeah, so absolutely. That, so if they've got patient flow problems, if they've got, you know, collection issues, they've got... Hygiene. Whatever. Whatever. Right, whatever is. operational issues. And the last thing is uh, we're doing is we're doing clinical coaching. Oh, so wow. We've got a hygiene coach and a doctor coach that will work with the hygienist in, you know... In these offices, in, yeah. In these offices to help, you know, to help implement clinical policies and work with the hygienists and the doctors to help increase revenue. Right. And so... Uh, so between the operational consulting where we're working on on uh, looking for synergies to reduce costs, you know, working with different vendors and, you know, in order to, right. you know, we're working on the bottom line while well, we're also working, working on the top it. line yeah. and then strategically trying to place them, you know. It's in interesting. You're, you're kind of a, a unique player which looks at because, you know, a lot of times these DSOs, these dental offices will, will go out there and they try to just fix one thing. Oh, let's just fix hygiene. Yeah. But you can't fix hygiene if there's no operational support yeah. and there's no operational buy-in from that. Or there's no clinical yeah. buy-in, communication protocols. Or you can't fix it if you're strategically, you're misaligned and they're, spent, you know, they're doing it yeah. the wrong way. We don't have a cookie-cutter approach. We have a, a, philo we have a philosophy of doing what's right, <laughs> right? And, and, making, and, and, and creating that alignment whether, whether it's an alignment with the partners and the owners, whether it's alignment between, you know, between the, the owners and what's going on operationally and clinically. So, you know, we understand that in order to be successful, you gotta have, you gotta have, you know, certain, there's the certain ingredients that have to be in, in the mix in order for it to work, you know? How do you, one of the questions I have, and it comes up with all my discussions now with DSOs is, it's really hard to change people's behavior. Like, you know, you have groups, uh, right now the biggest thing is this acquisition model. You acquire practices, you make them part of your DSO. But then how do you really assimilate these guys and how do you get people to like get aligned behind the same set of principles and values and mission and vision? Like, it's hard, right? Well, yes and no, right? Yeah. I, 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 I always align financial interests. If we if we align our financial goals and our interests, right. we're all gonna we should as long as we're philosophically aligned, right, right, um, then, and we have we've got aligned financial interests, then 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 everybody will will jump up in, will jump out of bed in the morning quickly. They'll be passionate about what they want to do, right, and they're you know and so we see that you know we kind of a lot of times we breathe new life and new energy into these groups, right? Because we've given them something to work for, you know? So let me challenge you a little bit on that. Sure. Like, like you're obviously, you, you're a doctor yourself and, and you're that high. A lot of clinicians are not that motivated by financial stuff because they just want to do go right by the patient and they want to do, it's not like you could go to tell a hygienist, oh, you need to produce $1,500 a day. Oh, so, so you asked me about how to do that at the DSO level. Okay, right? okay. On the clinical level, it's a different story, Okay, right? okay. So, no. I don't, we don't, that conversation does not come into play with the clinical team. Right. There we want them to do the right thing. Correct, correct. Regardless of money. Correct, correct. See what I'm saying? So, so I agree with you on that, right. I'm, I, I, I was... At the I was, DSO level, you're saying, okay, well, we got to align the financial stuff so that we're making the right decisions from an ROI standpoint, from a growth standpoint. Yeah. But on the clinical level, to operationalize that, you got to get, you got to have the right communication with the clinical people so they will do the right thing that will eventually end up having the right financial outcomes. Right. The financial outcome is a byproduct of, of, yeah, of, 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 great, of, of, great, of great leadership yeah. and great clinical skills, right? And the support to, to, the, to the clinical team through, through, the, through the management or operations team, right? So, uh, so and, and, you know, and, that, and that's, that's, where you, that's why I said it's creating this alignment amongst all parties, right? If we can get the doctors to do the right thing, the money's going to come. That's going to come, absolutely. Right. And, doing, and eventually, it's, it's doing right by the patient, right? Because doing right by the patient means the patient is 
uh, accepting the treatment that you have treatment plan, you're yeah. diagnosing it correctly. So eventually what's right for the patient is going to be what's right for the practice and right for the DSR. Right. And, and that's what sometimes people have this misperception that DSOs are these these entities that all they, that they tell us what, what to do, doctors what to do. Yeah, look, I, you know, that's such a big myth. <laughs> you know, and I laugh because... You know, we're now at 30% of most dent, you know, dentists in a, in a group practice. Uh, excuse me, where did they come from? That's right. That is correct. <laughs> where, That's correct. That is correct. That is correct. just drop out of the sky. They were all solo at one time or, you know, and so they say, oh, well, you know, group dentists and corporate dentistry is bad dentistry. No, take, turn around and go take a look and see what's going on in the solo practices. You know, there, with it, there's no accountability. Right. You know, so I, so I you know, I, I'm not... I don't drink the DSO Kool-Aid, but I got to tell you that, I, you know, I find that that's a huge myth. Absolutely. You know, all the bad dentists are in the group practice. That's, that's, that's absolutely <laughs> part of the truth. So what are your plans for 2022? Uh, well, we're, um, I'm getting ready to roll out a new, uh, a new uh, platform. A new platform. Very nice. Um, my, wife, my wife runs a DSO um, in Florida and Massachusetts and uh, so I'm supporting her to roll out this new platform nice and uh, you know but business is good it's great for us um, the demand for the demand for uh, our services is is, uh, is unbelievable so um, we're we've got a great reputation and we're doing a great job out there not for nothing but um, we're, we're just doing it the right way so um, you know, we're, and we're mindful of how the landscape changes. Right, right. right. You know, um, and so uh, we get so many calls for people that think they're, they've got a DSO, or, you know, um, and so it's the, the biggest issue right now is, is still um, tempering expectations. Absolutely. That's, this, that's, this is not easy stuff. This is not yeah. easy work. It may look easy. It looks easy. It's, On a spreadsheet, yeah. it looks perfect. <laughs> right? uh, you look at the multiples yeah. here and there, and everything looks easy. I, th I think sometimes this is the, you know, the California gold rush, or you know, it, where everybody thinks it's, oh, I just oh my God, I dig and I'll gold, do it. Yeah. You know, and I think I heard somebody this morning say, you know, the days of duct taping this together, those are over. That's right. You know. So, so if, if there is a small group out there, or... or uh, or even, a, I don't know whether you do single, but there's a small group out there that uh, that wants some help. How do they get in touch with Aligned? Um, what website do they go to? Uh, AlignedDentalPartners.com, all okay. one word. AlignedDentalPartners. AlignedDentalPartners.com. Yeah, yeah. Um, thank you so, so much, Alex, uh, for spending time with me. I've uh, always been, been a big fan, and uh, I look forward to seeing what happens in 2022. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you.